Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now below the title bar at the very top of the window, we have the menu bar. And in the menu bar, you have commands that allow you to control all the functions of Outlook. You do this by selecting a different drop-down menu command listed on the menu bar. Now in Outlook, these commands are File, Edit, View, Go, Tools, Actions, and Help. So clicking on any one of these commands displays a sub-menu of available commands. Commands that appear in gray are not currently available. Commands that are followed by a right pointing arrow will display another side menu of choices from which you will need to make a selection. So for example, under File, the New command has all the different types of new items that you could create in Outlook. Now commands that are followed by an ellipsis mark, such as the command folder here in the side menu, or search folder, or navigation pane shortcut, any command followed by an ellipsis mark when selected will invoke a dialog box. In the dialog box, you will need to supply Outlook with some type of additional information or make some additional choice before it can carry out your command. And that would be contrasted with a command such as exit, which doesn't need any additional information. Now, in addition to navigating Outlook with your mouse, you can also use keyboard shortcuts to execute commands. If you'd like to increase your efficiency with Outlook, the keyboard shortcuts for some commands are listed in the menu bar to the right of the specific command to which they correspond. So, for example, if you click the Edit command in the menu bar, you can see the shortcut for the Cut command, which is Control plus X on your keyboard. Now, not every command in the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. All commands do, however, have keystroke combinations that you can press in order to execute them. Note that each command on the menu bar has an underlined letter, like the F in File, or the E in Edit, or the V in View. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, and then press the underlined letter on your keyboard for the command grouping that you would like to view, like the F for File, then you'll see the drop-down list appear. From there, you'll notice that every subcommand has an underlined letter as well, and you can simply press the letter on your keyboard that corresponds to the command that you would like to execute. So, for example, if I just press the W key, which you can see is highlighted or underlined in the new command, then I get the side menu. Once again, you just keep pressing the key that corresponds to the command you'd like to execute. So, in this case, I could press M to make a new mail message and escape on your keyboard will close the window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.